Hi, everybody! Wave, wave, wave! <laughs> you can see somebody super enthusiastic. So I'm Nathan Chan, and I have a little bit of a glare. So I'm Nathan Chan from Proud Fertility, and uh, it's an egg donation consulting um, company in Canada. So I'm the founder and founder and managing director. And I have here with, um, you don't have to say your name, but are you a proud um, intended parent, egg donor, or surrogate? I'm an egg donor. I'm currently doing my second um, donation. Um, so you're an experienced egg donor coming up, coming out and sharing us some of these thoughts that you're so willing to share with us today. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So today we talked a lot about what things that you would like to address for our viewers. And the viewers would be egg donors, surrogates, or intended parents, or just people that want to learn about this whole field. And so some of their valuable lessons we talked about are these different statements that you've heard or words that actually stigmatize this whole I process of egg donation for you. So can you think of any that has um, really stuck out for you as an egg donor? Any comments that you've seen or you've read? Right. Um, well, I guess one thing is that uh, often I am referred to as like the mother, which is very incorrect or um, yeah, I'm, part of the process but the mother is the parent and I am definitely not a parent um do you have any kids yourself first of all no I don't have any kids okay but you chose to come give the egg donation gift yes but let's talk a little bit about that for a moment so speak a little bit louder just in case so somebody said to you you're the mom or like or how did that work out um yeah just like different language that is used when people have like um misconceptions and also like you know often in legal agreements it's written as you're the mother because um it's your genetic material but you're still not the mother let's take that apart one more time so mother for us that we were chatting about is really for the parent it, for more of a, a connoting of the role of the parent but you're not parenting any of these kids that you're helping other people have Definitely not. you are simply only giving your eggs yes you agree with that? 100%. So don't call an egg donor a mom. Right. Unless if you are a mom with other children, right? Right. Yeah, they are moms too. Okay, so the next thing we wanted to talk about was, even though the mother thing, how do we make sure that we value your gift and make sure you feel appreciated? And you told me the wasting thing. What was that again? The comment? Um, are you, I think you sort of, oh, you're not using them or something? Or what was it? Um, yeah, um, I think some folks think of, um, or are intrigued by egg donation because the, they have the idea that they don't want to, their eggs to go to waste, um, which is a strange thing to, uh, Are you wasting your eggs if you're not giving your eggs to somebody? No, um, very much not. I, no. <laughs> Um, do you know how many eggs a, a woman has from the beginning of birth until it completely... 400? 400 eggs? Is that right? Try 250,000 eggs. Well, like 400 periods or something. Oh yeah, like something okay, like sorry. that. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so like it's, you'd be wasting a lot of eggs and... Right. Do you, nobody knows your name. Everybody knows my name, but like... Do, what did you say earlier about like you're not wasting do you think what, what are your feelings about that when people say i don't want to waste my dna i need to give it a, a you need to give it to somebody um i mean i think it sounds a little um even though i don't think that's what is intended i think it can come off a little like conceited like your genetics are superior um but you, yeah. you can help someone and it's not i, I just i guess i personally feel this dialogue is that when you're thinking that I'm this this woman like this proud egg donor here is giving her eggs because she doesn't want to give it doesn't want to waste it that actually really diminishes your your gift that you're giving someone because you have to do injections mm -hmm. and it's it's a long pro I mean it's not a long long process but you need to be honored for that so don't tell someone that you're only donating your eggs because you don't want to waste them. Right. And even as an egg donor, don't say, I'm just donating it because I don't want to waste them. Like, you, you, you are making lots of efforts. Like, how do you find those needles, by the way? They're, like, very much... I was, um, 
nervous, but I, I knew it wasn't going to be that bad, but they're, the needles are quite thin, actually, like the thinnest needles I've ever, like the gauge, I think it's like 27 or 29. Um, so they're actually like no problem, they're very fast. Um, I was, yeah, initially a little nervous, but it's... But there are still needles, and you got over your fears. For sure, yeah. Got some. And it's a bit like, a little, can be a little, you can get in your head because it's in your belly, but then it's it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. You get used to it very quickly. But the idea is that don't diminish your gift. It's not like it's just one needle. It's actually over at least a two-week period until yeah, these eggs come out. And yeah. so, yeah. It's, um, oh my, our prompter is gone. Um, the last thing was what? Known versus anonymous? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. What do you think about... Have you have you done known and anonymous donations, and would you consider doing either or? I've only done known. I would do both. I think I'm like I have it as an option to do both. Um, I like known. Um, it's nice having a relationship with the intended parent, which you can both decide in what capacity that looks like for you. It can be very little, um, but just communicating about the process, or it can be a little bit more. Um, but I've had a positive, positive experience with known donation, and I'm currently doing another known. So it was obviously pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and so, are they both almost the same, or do you you don't know quite yet how that relationship will look like? Like, do you want? Are you best friends with them, or do you want to be oh. best friends with them? Do they want to be best friends with you? Yeah, I mean. Um, no, we're not. I mean, we're not best friends. We definitely, we chat, we keep in touch. The, um, the intended parents that I did the first donation with, um, they keep me updated um, about their surrogate and their process, um, which is really great um, for me. Um, and I like that. And then, uh, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> so in, in short, you are the donor and you decide what you would like out of the relationship, if any at all. And you just mentioned that... Yeah, no donation can be whatever you would like it to be. As long know, as it's both clearly consenting defined. consenting parties decide what the relationship is, but I think it is beneficial. But of course, if someone preferred that it was anonymous, then I'm also happy to do that. But I think it is, a known donation is a positive experience. Oh. Yeah. As the facilitator of this for the last six years, I think it's just one last point that we want to talk about is that like most known donations do not mean you want to become BFFs and you're not going to go and have Sunday brunch with them right. every week. Um, there's even something called a no contact note donation, which doesn't sound um, very understandable. But literally, you can know each other's names, but you don't ever have to talk to each other. And the agency and also the clinic will coordinate everything for you. So that's something. There's a lot of, like, gray, but you can make it what you want. Yeah, lots of different, like, opportunities to make it, make the experience how you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any final... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just thinking about the sound. Is there any um, final advice or words that you would like to say to somebody who is thinking about being an egg donor or anything else? Um, not really. I mean, I had, I had, hi. <laughs> I had a very positive experience and I, I would say if you're interested in the process but feeling a bit like weary, I would reach out to Nathan and Proud Fertility and they can answer any questions that you've got. Um, but yeah. You're obviously doing it again. You might want to do another one. Maybe you want to call it quits. Yeah. That's another cool thing. Just because you're an egg donor, you don't have to do it a bajillion times. You could do it once. You could do it up to six times. Um, it's totally up to you. And, and uh, you do actually get to choose who you decide to donate to, too. That's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, signing off, this is Proud for Tilly and... Oh! I hope you are enjoying your lovely day. Spring is here, right? So... Take care, guys. Bye-bye.